Hi there everyone, I uh, recently just got this Evans EQ1 Frosted 18-inch uh, bass drum head from my resonant head on my kick drum. Uh, I did have, used to have a ported head, this is still technically ported with the holes, but I used to have like a, one with a big 5-inch hole in it, it was the EMAD and I had a kick port in there as you may know. Um, I got this because I wanted more resonance out on my bass drum and I wanted more kind of traditional low end rather than like a just a, a kick kind of slappy sound, you know, which is great. I've still got that head which, which offers that like lot, especially with the kick port in. Uh, but this just gives it not necessarily more jazzy, but definitely more open. And uh, I've gone with the coated G2s recently on the Toms rather than the EC2 SSTs. So now I've got kind of a pop setup and a more kind of trad setup. And I just want to get in really close to this head and you can hear the low end off it. And um, I'll be hitting the batter head and the resonant head a few times with this lovely Los Cabos drumsticks general mallet there. Check out loscabosdrumsticks.com. This is a timpani mallet, but it works well for demo purposes. So here we go. This is Evan's EQ1 Frosted Resonant. On the other side, I have a EMAD clear, obviously, as you can see, with the big foam ring. I can't find the little foam ring at the moment, but I think that would probably suit the, suit the roll better. But uh, here we go, anyway. There we go, I hope that gave you a kind of idea of the low end that it gives off. I hope the gain settings work there. As you can see on the inside as well, I have a Kelly shoe with an Audix D6 on there. That's just for the sake of having one in there. I normally put a mic um, XLR cable through the top and hook it in. Um, I actually took it out just to install that head, but I still need to play around with these heads a bit more, so I'll be putting it back in soon. As you can see, there's nothing else at all inside that drum. I did have an EQ pad in there at first, and it kind of just took off a little bit, the resonance still sound really nice and round, so I might do that for some other poppy stuff, but for now this is going to be my setup. Yep, I really, really like it. So there we go, that's an Evans EQ1 Frosted, and an Evans EMAD Clear. Um, funnily enough, I actually ordered the Evans EMAD Coated, uh, Evans EQ1 Coated, but uh, they thought I ordered it as a batter head and not as a resin head. You can't get a you can't get a frosted resonant head, you can only get a frosted batter head. Apparently, so this is actually a batter head, but works pretty well as you can hear. Obviously, because the logo's at the top, usually in a resonant, it'll be at the bottom, I think. Uh, but yeah, so there we go, that's the EQ1 Frosted from Evans.